fucking idiots. <laughs> anyway, I mean, look, I didn't know that she was gonna do that until I saw it. Like, literally, I didn't know I had what that. What a fucking bitch. She could have just approved your vacation time. I know. I didn't actually know, like, she gave me that weekend off until, like, right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. What a bitch, dude. I just looked at the schedule, like, 10 minutes wow. before we did this, and I was like, wait, she gave me, she gave me it off. What the hell? She could have just wait, given when... me the... Oh, Hold on, God. pause. When is RTX again? Next weekend. Uh, obviously next weekend, but it starts Friday, right? It starts Friday. Saturday starts and, Friday. And, and Sunday? Yeah. Okay. No more people flying Thursday, and then they leave Monday. So I'm going to have people go for conventions. Yeah, see, I'm flying... Uh, you fly Wednesday, Wednesday, which Mario's going to pick you up, because I work 7 to 11 that day, so... 7 a.m.? Yeah, I work 7 a.m. to 11. But Mario closes at night, so he'll pick you up from the airport. Um, You guys have to go pick up the tickets. Which are under Mario's name at the convention center. And then, yeah. Do I have to, like, register my name or something? No, no, no. Yeah. Kind of. Do you? I don't fucking think so. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. All three are under Mario's names. It doesn't fucking matter. I don't really know. I know. All I know is that when I got mine, uh, it said, hey, make sure you do the registration. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, takes pictures and send to Maria. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We didn't have any registration to do. <clears throat> I don't know. Mm, crazy. Yeah. Yeah, weird. Right. I'm kind of mad now. I'm I'm furious, dude. I'm <laughs> I'm mad for you. I'm upset. I'm kind of mad now. God damn it. This is ridiculous. She could have just she could have just given you three more days and approved your fucking thing off. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just hit the. Oh, what episode is this? Now you're going to sit at home like a sad <clears throat> bitch and we're going to send you more videos of Ray. I mean, I'm not going to be a sad bitch. I'm still going to be home playing video games, so I'll be but happy. But you're going to be sad because we're going to send you more videos of Ray. No, I'm fine. I'll jerk off to that, too. <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> oh, but anyways, we started the podcast. Hey, what uh, what episode is this? I don't know. 29? Did we literally start with like, me saying I'll jerk off to this? Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Ray, Chris is a really big fan. If you ever watch yeah. this, you're probably never going to see this, but just so you know. But one day, maybe. Who knows? One day. Anyway, welcome to episode whatever this is. 29? 29. There you go. Yeah. Can we stop this at like 69 and just like end it? End it? When we cancel the podcast and we never come back again. At 69? Yeah. Or we could go to like yep. 420 and then, I don't know. No, we, we just reboot it every 69th episode. <laughs> we start a new podcast. Yeah, it's just a new name. New name. Welcome to Right Nice. <laughs> right Nice. <laughs> and then we stop at episode 69, yeah. Yeah. Great plan. Great plan. Love it. And it was... Write it down. Perfect. <laughs> so what, it's been like, what, two weeks now? Three weeks now? Since the last one? Exactly. I don't remember. <laughs> so what's going uh, on in our lives? What's going on in our mean. lives? What is going on in our lives? I don't know, bitch. Uh, I'm going to the gym. Because I have... You're going to what? I'm going to the gym, losing weight. Nice, nice. I'm also uh I'm also dieting right now. You're dieting? Oh now? snap. I'm going to the yeah. gym too. Oh my god, hey. guys. I'm actually doing keto. Fuck, I'm not gonna do keto. Yeah, I'm doing keto. I'm uh, two weeks now. I'm two weeks in so far. Mm. That was keto. It uh it sucks is what it, it is. It sucks, Bradley. Don't fucking do so, it. So pretty much what keto is is um a low carb, high fat diet. Where you are pretty much trying to force your body to, instead of taking energy from carbs, you're taking energy from fat. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you naturally go through it if you're starving. Interesting. Yeah. Yep. So the fastest way to go to, to enter ketosis, which is what keto stands for, um, is to just fast, pretty much. Just don't eat anything for like... A long time, and then eventually your body's like, okay, we'll start hitting the 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 stores of fat on your body instead of because you're not eating, you're not feeding us anything. Cool. And uh, yeah, but you can also make your body do that by eating less carbs. About uh, it, it it varies because like I, I've done a lot of research before I actually started doing it, and it pretty much varies between twenty to fifty grams of carbs. And just for context for the people who don't know, like Bradley. Like a slice of bread is like 21 carbs. Science! Yeah. 
So like bread, bread is I, terrible. Bread is terrible if you're trying to yeah. diet. Don't eat bread when you're trying to diet. So I can't eat bread. I can't eat rice. Can't eat <gasps> but pasta. you're Asian. Pasta? Oh no. Can't eat pasta. Wait, no, can't hold on. My my biggest thing is you can't eat rice because this, this is Yeah, your, I know. I know. It's your thing. It kills me inside. <laughs> It does. It really does. Like it go. It, like I said, I'm, do, I'm doing this for two weeks now, mm. and every time I How's eat a meal, I think it's going pretty good. Have you lost like, I'll tell you, uh, I think I lost about like four pounds so far. That's good in a week. That's freaking good. Like two weeks. In two weeks. Two That's weeks. Yeah. Bad. Um, and other health benefits as well. But um, let me just tell you about why it sucks, tell and us. then I'll go into why I'm still doing it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, like I said, I can't eat any of that good shit. So, like, every time I'm eating a meal, I'm just, like, I feel, I feel empty because <laughs> there's no rice there, you That's know? So true. Or I'm eating, like, you know, br- uh, like, I mean, like, um, like, for example, like, when, when we have our breakfast stuff in the morning mm-hmm. um, at work, no like, more apropo. I have to get an omelet. I can't get the sandwich. That's so sad. And the sand and the omelet is literally just what they normally do, except the Without bread. The bread. Ugh, so sad. It's like sadly eating this omelet while everyone else is eating their delicious sandwich. <laughs> and you're there crying inside. Oh, it sucks. Yeah. <clears throat> um. <It's> the whimpering. <laughs> so yeah, I had to replace a lot of my meals with um. With like, like it, it, it pretty much I'm substituting rice with salad. Mm-hmm. Like all there's the time. A, there's um, like kind of like a Hello Fresh like subscription thing, mm-hmm. that like it specifically will like do specific diets. They mm-hmm. have they have one for keto. Like they'll just send you things like if you're on a keto diet. I thought that was really cool. I'll look that up later. Yeah. Uh, I'm not like struggling per se. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just like like I said, just when you get to the actual eating part, it sucks. <laughs> Die inside. But the actual benefits are pretty good. Like, for example, um, I no longer require caffeine. I oh. just have energy. Mm. I, like, I never I'm have just energy. Have, I'm always I just sli- Yeah, sli- I mean, sw- switch uh, to a low-carb diet and you'll have bounds, just like boundless energy. God. Like, I literally, like, once I, by like three days into the diet, like, no longer needed Red Bull, no longer needed coffee. I was good. Who are you? I woke up and I was just like, "Yeah, You're I'm ready, good." Man. No more yeah. needing monster either. Nope, didn't need it. Who is Holy he? Holy shit! Bradley. You just have to die a little inside, but yeah. Brady, it's like we don't even know him anymore. It's like we don't know. Yeah, it's like I'm 12 <laughs> again. Um, yeah, so don't need caffeine anymore. I have a lot of energy. Um, I sleep a lot better now. Cool. Um, losing weight, so that's good. Um, yeah. So, like, I would recommend if you want to kill yourself. I don't. I love eating. So do I. Now, my my actual goal is to, like, lose, like, lose enough weight where, like, I'm happy with. Maybe, like, lose the man boobs. And then... Lose man boobs. But I love the man boobs. <laughs> we all love the man and, boobs. And then, at that point, probably, like, slowly reintroduce carbs again. Or just, like, don't go overboard like I was doing. Yeah, count your calories and whatnot. Not necessarily count them calories, just be like, don't eat a whole pizza. You know? Yeah, probably eat like a slice or two and that's it. Quite I'll eat half the pizza, baby. But. Yes. <laughs> it, I mean, come on, Mario does it. Mario is gigantic compared to you, alright? Yeah, I know. But he's, he's so much thinner, though, now. I also ate like a full box of medium sized pizza by myself and so me. like he's in the background and he refused to introduce himself how dare you no well, he's about to go to he's work he's about to go for work oh uh oh yeah the other good thing is that um bye bye. i actually Mario, don't goodbye. have goodbye. later guy bye, the other good thing is that like my the, the the um the span between like when i get hungry again from when i've eaten is a lot longer probably like an extra three hours or four hours uh, Mario says for Braddy not to forget his flight. Yeah. Not to forget my my flight? Do, do not forget your flight. Do not forget you have to fly. How could I forget my flight? I don't know. Dude, I had some guy who works with me, forgot that he was allergic to cats, started petting a cat. <clears throat> wow, what so an idiot. Like, yeah, so like, it's possible <laughs> for you to, to forget your flight, okay? 
Anyway, so like the other good wait, thing wait, wait. is okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. This is a question. Yeah, yeah. The, the the other good thing is that like I said, I don't get as uh, as hungry as I used to. Mm-hmm. So like I eat one meal in the morning. I'm pretty much good. Like, let's say I eat my meal like at eleven. I'm good until like six p.m. What? I'm, at, I'm constantly hungry. And that's the like I actually like looked into it and I to like why that's that's the case because I did a lot of research before I did this keto thing. Yeah. And pretty much it's like carbs burn really quickly, but give you a, a like a sudden burst of energy. But since they're burning super quickly you get hungrier faster and tired faster. But if you subsist only on fat, it's a slower burn throughout the entire day. Mm-hmm. So I have constant energy throughout the entire day and I'm not as hungry. Mm. Mm, interesting. interesting. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. So it sucks to eat that way, but the actual health benefits are the reason why I am keep doing it. And, uh, you know, eventually I'll eat bread again and rice. One day you'll have rice rice again. Yeah. But right now, no. (laughs) Right now, I'm going to keep going until, you know, until I say, all right, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with this. Um, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to Mm -hmm. cut cut back on soda, uh, sleep more. Because, and not try to stress as much. I cut back on soda years ago. I, uh... I'm trying. I'm trying to cut back on soda. Um, I'm mostly trying to sleep eight hours a night because apparently, it's something to do with that your fat. The you release more fat if you don't. Sleep you're fat. Enough. Just you're fat. You're fat. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You're fat. Yeah. It's like for some reason, like your body re- releases like, like it, you just gain more weight if you don't sleep good enough at night, and also if you're stressing. So which I do both because I don't ever fucking sleep at night. I sleep like three hours. That that makes sense to me. Because yeah. essentially, fat is stored energy, yeah. and if you're not sleeping well enough, therefore you don't have a lot of energy. Your body would store fat, so you could theoretically have more have energy. energy, even though it doesn't work that way. Because your body is stubborn and it's like, no, we're gonna, we're not gonna tackle that store fat until you burn up all the other energy sources that you have in your body. Yeah, and then um, stressing doesn't help because your body, like to make you feel better, it releases the same thing that like eating would with so like you gain weight and all these things mm-hmm. yeah i don't know there was a word for it i forgot what it was called it's, it was like it's like it really it opens your glands or whatever the fuck and then like you we're not weight. scientists i don't know so we're fine yeah. yeah but it's like it's like yeah like to like make your body feel better from the stress um you gain weight mm-hmm. it's the same thing of like eating to make yourself feel better it's the same thing i see um, spe- like uh, also on this diet, I can't pretty much drink anything. I can only drink water. That's so sad. It's water. If I want coffee, which I don't need, it has to be black, like completely. I say as I'm drinking my soda from a Panda Express cup because I went to Panda Express today. I I went to Panda Express today too. Mm-hmm. Uh, had to get there like for the sides. I had to get veggies, and then I just got. Like double teriyaki chicken, that's fine. Gross. Well, you don't like the teriyaki chicken? No, I love teriyaki chicken. I hate vegetables. Oh no, they have veggies there. Are actually, Are pretty good. Serious? I don't like veggies. I told you, literally, like I told you, like because I can't eat rice anymore, I have to substitute where I would put rice with salad. That's so sad. It's that's literally horrible. only salad. See, but my dad, my I love my dad. My dad would <laughs> literally just tell you, be like, no, no, rice good for you, and I'll be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> No, yeah. See, like they, they still remember what they were taught in school, and then we discovered that what they taught us in school is bullshit. Yeah, you remember when I? But I remember it was like probably like somewhere in elementary, and they used to have like the pyramid thing, and they're like, you gotta eat yeah. a lot of bread, the food, a lot pyramid, of rice, yeah. and yeah. like, the, and then you find out later they're like, that's you know, you should not do that. <laughs> Yeah, the food pyramid is bullshit. Yeah. It's a complete lie. Fucking lie. Saturated Thanks. fat doesn't kill you. It's being fat that kills you. Yeah. Stuff like that, you know? Ah, uh, good old American health system. I know. Okay. Which is like, some there are some people who still, like, don't know that. Like, for example, when I was telling some of my coworkers, yeah, I'm on this, like, you know, keto diet, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's a high fat diet. They're like, why would you do that? And I'm like, no, fat, fat is good. <laughs> Fat is good, guys. It's not like you don't die. You don't get a heart attack from eating too much fat. Hmm. 
there are other so reasons why you do why you would but like for the most part fat doesn't kill you there's like actual no link to it at all that that, that it contributes to heart disease Oof. wait so how long are you gonna be doing this diet like a couple of months or until get, uh you know like i said i literally just said until i get rid of the man boobs but yeah who knows how long that would be yeah so like maybe a month maybe not in a month maybe for a couple of months maybe a year who knows mm. like i said i feel fine it's just like 10 to 20 minutes a day like i just hate my life because i'm eating shit mm. but you know like just from the benefits of themselves like I, I like it so maybe when i when i um reintroduce carbs again what i might do is like maybe one meal would be rice with something and then another meal would be a ketogenic meal mm-hmm. you know so i kind of keep the balance of both without going overboard Interesting. yeah yeah. It sucks. It sucks a lot, though. Um, yeah, I can't drink. I can only drink water. If I want coffee, it has to be black. As black as my soul. Ew. That black. As black as your soul. As black as my soul. Almost as black as Bradley's brother. That black. And... Damn, that's dark. <laughs> yeah. If I... If the funny, if, you... Wait, hold on. The funny thing is that you can't say as black as Bradley because Bradley's actually not that black. Exactly, he's not. <laughs> Bra- nah. Bradley's skin color is if you actually add in cream and sugar and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or milk. Or milk. Bra- yeah, Bradley, if, uh... Bradley's like a cafe con leche. Slightly, slightly <laughs> more coffee. If I do want to add something to it, it has to be heavy cream. And uh, I've tried it. It sucks. <laughs> Because heavy cream is pretty much just like fat in a bottle. Mm. And one of the things I don't like about the diet is, again, you have to eat a lot of fat stuff. Yeah. I don't actually like the taste of fat. It actually does make me, like, my stomach queasy. Mm-hmm. So, well, like, I have to, like, kind of, pro- I have to find, like, other sources to do a, a fat. So, like, I'll eat cheese. That's fine. Um, nuts are fine. Um... So, like, I don't actually get a lot of my fat from, like, eating meat. Yeah. That's my protein. Um, so, like, I'll actually get a, po- a, hu- a bigger portion of it just by eating, like, cheese and nuts and stuff like that. So, I had to – I had the first week was kind of just, like, uh, discovering, like, what I can and can't do and what mm-hmm. I like and don't like. And, uh, yeah, heavy cream is not great. It's gross. It's really gross. <laughs> it's really gross. Yeah, if you pour like pour it into coffee and just let it sit, and it's just like a layer of oil on the top. Oh. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not drinking this. This this fucking sucks. It's like kill me. Inside. Um, I but I do know why when you know I, I we got I got inspired to do it because of Jeff because you know of, of how much weight he he lost from doing this. There's a reason why the guy's addicted to Diet Coke. Mm-hmm. Because your body craves sugar so much, and the only soda you can drink is diet soda. Oh, yeah. So I'm actually like, if when I get the sugar cravings, because your body, yeah, I go, I was drinking diet coke, but then I discovered uh, Sprite Zero, and I like Sprite more than Coke, mm. so I drink diet Sprite pretty much. But I don't drink a lot of it. It's just like enough to just like calm the the the, the sugar cravings. <laughs> Yeah, because your like your body legitimacy is just like, yo, give me some sugar. Because um, I, just for those who don't know, carbs are converted into sugar, and then your body uses that sugar to Chris is teaching fuel us. itself. Yeah, we're learning. We're learning. Yeah, so that's why, that's why your you, you crave sugar because your body naturally turns it into sugar and uses it for energy. So if you deprive yourself of that, it's just like, oh shit, I want sugar. Interesting. Hmm. Exactly. But then if you overeat, um, it it uh, when it converts into sugar and goes into your blood, that's when your body's like, oh shit, there's too much sugar in here, and it deems it toxic, and then it makes insulin, and then insulin tries to fight it, and then when the insulin can't fight it, it stores it as fat. And then you're diabetic. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty and much. It's where diabetes comes from. Di- <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for covering my TED talk. <laughs> we, 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 yeah, man, great. Love this TED talk. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you like that? I did a lot of research. Yeah, I, it sure seems like and, it. And uh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Interesting. Ew, yeah. I don't want to eat a high-fat diet. Fuck that. 
why would I do that? And then you read up on it and you're like, oh, well, everything we learned is a fucking lie. It's like, wow. I've been lied to. Forever, everything I've known is a lie. Okay. I've been lied to forever. <laughs> did you know? Did you know that I discovered that bread makes you fat from Scott Pilgrim? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Wait, yeah, didn't he see? He, like, oh, well, I forgot how the line went. Yeah. Yeah, it was just like, bread makes you fat. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> where like he's like he's like he's like questioning everything. Yeah, I was like, bread. Wait, bread does make you fat. Holy shit! It's like oh my god, I love that movie. I love that series. Yeah, but the but the movie re- the movie's pretty good. I read. I actually never seen the movie. I've only read the comics. You what? I, we've already established I don't see movies. Oh yeah, he doesn't watch movie. movies at all. You, you gotta see like Chris Evans is like Chris Evans amazing in it. Uh, is it, which which boyfriend does he play? Uh, he's the actor one. Uh, I don't know if that. Of course he is. Yeah. Okay. And he has like really like angry eyebrows. It, he looks so good. <laughs> it's a good series. Yeah. I should probably watch the movie. Yeah. yeah. You should. I think it was on Netflix a while back, but I don't remember. Yeah, I'll find it. Yeah. I'll find it legally. I swear. Legally. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we promise we we watch movies legally around here. Oh, I do now. Yeah. It's just easier now. Yeah. True. Yeah. One, I, one, I have money, and two, it's easier. <laughs> Back in the day, we didn't have money, so we actually had to go through these hurdles to to torrent everything. To see movie. Yeah. Yep. You got. Oh my God! When you had to like download the file, but you didn't know if the file was right, so then you download the file, and then you play the movie, and it wasn't actually the movie. Yeah. Or something else. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, back totally. in the or. Or back in the day when we had like LimeWire and shit. The fucking LimeWire. And you you download a song and it's just uh. Dude, fucking... when you had to like d- when you wanted to download a Britney Spears song, but then when you download the song, it's actually a cover of the Britney Spears song and it wasn't actually. Oh man, yeah, I know exactly Furious. what you're talking about. Yeah. Of course, man, love Britney Spears. <laughs> All right, well, I I'm just telling you from my experience. <laughs> but you hated that when it used to be like a cover of the song. It wasn't the actual. Song. No, I've actually never gotten that. I used to get the shit all the fucking time for every single. Song. I I would always get the clip of Bill Clinton going, "I did not have sexual relations with that woman," <laughs> all the time. <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. All the time. All the time. That's... But they would they would always cut it like the people who do it. They would always cut like loop it, obviously, but they always cut it to the exact like, um, down to the last second of the song. So, like, it, it looks like the full-length song of whatever you're trying to download, and then you play it, and it's fucking looping that over and over again. I fucking hate that shit. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, we didn't know any better. And then, and, and, uh... And now we're here. Yeah, now we're here, and now it's much easier to get whatever you need. Yeah. I can get all the That's music true. I want because I have a subscription to a music service. Yeah, I have Apple You know? Music. And we can get all the movies you want because you can get a Netflix, you know, or a subscription, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Or you could, like rent it in like a billion places for ridiculous yeah or you can rent it for like two bucks yeah you know you could get so Redbox just... or you could go, go, go on uh, Amazon Prime and rent it there yeah exactly I think the only thing that you can't really do like that that's still very hard to do is uh, video games yeah video games are like you either got money or you don't yeah that's true video, you can't, you can't... Unless, unless the video games are old if you, if you want to play Game Boys you know that's easy yeah, if you want to emulate like, emulators, technically, yeah, you could do that. Um, I'm not condoning that, by the way. Yeah, I mean, if you have no other way to do it, which is why I'm like, hey, Nintendo, like, fucking put it on the Switch. Put everything on the Switch. Put everything on the Switch, man. Put everything on the fucking Switch. Yeah. Everything. The Switch is so good. Yeah. If we could just if we could just crossplay everything, like life would be so much easier. That too, yeah. I mean, it looks like that's the trend that's going to happen, except yeah, for Sony. Yeah, because that's all everybody fucking wanted. But Sony's being a bitch and doesn't want to get included. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like they don't need to. They're 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 at the top of this generation. Yeah, they're pretty up there. They don't need to. They're just like, yeah, we're just gonna keep counting our money. Yeah, but I I found it really weird that Microsoft and PC. Like the Xbox and the PC haven't hadn't done this already so, like long before. It's like you're both by the same company. Like why is it well, so hard to cross platform your well, bullshit? Back in the day it was That's it true. was reversed. It was reversed in, in, in um during the three sixty era. Because at that time Microsoft was at the top and then Sony was the one pushing for crossplay. Yeah, but now Sony's like But now it, like it. obviously the roles are reversed because they have the money now. 
they're getting the revenue that that Microsoft was having for ten years with the 360. Yeah. But now Microsoft is like, hey, we own both of the things. Maybe we should cross platform them. Like, yeah. Should have done like ages ago. Yeah. They could have. Uh, like I said, they're starting to do that now, so that's fine. Yeah, this is good. I'm slowly making progress up there. Mm-hmm. Making progress. We're getting there. We're getting I mean, there. like if they if they do it before the time period where I should get a console, then that'll be great because I'll save money. Yeah. It would really help. Uh, us. Speaking of which, hey Bradley, how's the the PC hunt going? It's still going. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put I... it on pause for a second, but it's still yeah. Going. I know you put it on pause when you had to buy a ticket. Yeah, he yep. put it on pause because he needs to come to Austin for the weekend. Mm -hmm. How much was that ticket, by the way? I think like four something. Damn. Mm -hmm. I normally get it for about like three hundred because I'll buy like months in advance, but. Mhm. Mm yeah. Man, I I was trying to, and then you know shit happened, but yeah. And then anyways, you could have come. <clears throat> anyway, everything is better in my life right now. <laughs> that is great. Yeah. Yeah, good to hear. Speaking of which, I bought the tickets, but uh, where do I see? I haven't flown in in quite in quite some years. Uh, mm -hmm. Where the hell did I pick that thing up? Uh, it's called getting uh, the app, so you have it on your phone. You don't, or like, do you have a um, fucking what was it called? Like a reference number or anything like that? He should. So. It's it's in his email. Yeah, because then you you would just go to you go to the airport and then they have like self service kiosks there. Yeah, you go to the kiosk. And you just go to the kiosk. Yeah, you type in the reference number, it prints out the tickets for you. Or you could do what what uh, modern people do and have it on their phone. Like yeah, I, I think I want to do the app thing. Yeah, yeah you could do the app you thing too. You can just check it works. on your phone. You like you walk into the airport, and you walk straight into TSA. Yeah. Yeah, that's literally what I do. And then they shove a hand up your ass, and then when they don't find the drugs, you go and you you're good. Good. Then you sit at your door, and then you pass your phone again, and then you get on the plane. And yeah, those you're gonna you're not three hours. touching me. On the bright side, I wa I watch Home uh Far From Home. Yeah. On that weekend. We're gonna go see it at the Alamo. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm like I thought oh you said, I thought you said you watched it. I'm like how did you watch it? It's not even out yet. No, he's going to. He's going to. No, I'm going to. What flight did I pick again? I don't fucking I think know. He's like American. From the picture you sent. Lady, you should know. I sent I sent it in the group chat. Yeah, I think he picked American. Do you think I looked at it? <laughs> I looked at it. Blech. I didn't look at it. I think it was at work at the time. Hold on. Yeah, you picked American, bud. American's I love how I told my, I love how I told my mom. I was like, Mom, my flight's on a Wednesday. She was like, What does that have to do with me? And I'm like, Okay. <laughs> I'm like, obviously, someone's not taking me to the airport. <laughs> I'm like, I guess I'm not going to listen. Whatever. I'm not going to say bye to you then when I'm leaving for the airport. <laughs> and she's going she's gonna to call you and be like, where'd you go? Be like, I'm at the airport. She's like, oh, where, where are you? And I'm just like, uh, I'm in Austin. What do you mean, where did I go? <laughs> I told you I was going. <laughs> you th I told you I was leaving for the weekend. Did you not hear me? Were you, were you, were you not listening, mother? When I, to I, told, I told you, I asked you this months ago. And I told you when I'd be leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not listen to me when I said I'd be leaving? <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. That was... Damn, Bradley, voice actor extraordinaire. Yeah, I mean, he, he wanted to kind of do that. I wanted to kind of do that. Yeah. Oh, we could do that. He can do Cleveland pretty good, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember Cleveland very well. <laughs> oh, we, hey, we found your Sonic at work, by the way. Wait, what do you mean? The Sonic that you like drew at drawing? work. Yeah. Holy shit, it's Found still it. there? They have there. not changed that? Nope, still there. Wow, that, sh that shows you how old they keep things. Mm-hmm. Still there on the shelf. Still there on the shelf. Yep. So, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's, uh, that, that's all I've done in the past two weeks. Just start a new diet and hating myself, but also loving myself. But also but really hating myself. Sounds like fun. Oh, it's not fun. Damn, they're really hating myself. That last one sounded like <laughs> real deep. Bro, Matt, I want I want rice and bread so bad. <laughs> you have no idea how much he wants to kill himself. My parents bought pizza last night, and I could only eat the toppings. Wow. Like, that's how bad it is. I bet is. you wanted to kill them. Huh? I said, I bet you wanted to kill them. Yeah. It's like, how fucking dare I'm you just, bring a I'm pizza just... into this house? I can, like, there are substitutes to it. But it's all made of cauliflower, mm -hmm. and 
I don't like cauliflower that much. So, oh. and, like, there's cauliflower rice in quotation marks, but it's just pretty much like really diced up cauliflower, and it's just it's just straight up cauliflower. I hate cauliflower. And I'm just like, eh. I, I like no. broccoli. So, <clears throat> like, I really like broccoli. So, like, cauliflower is broccoli. okay. Well, you are entitled to your wrong opinion. What, and... broccoli you, tastes you like shit. Wrong opinion. <laughs> broccoli uh, tastes like is... crap. We all know it. <laughs> and they also make uh, pizza crust out of cauliflower. And I've tried like cauliflower pizza, I guess. Mm -hmm. And it's it's just not the same, man. Does not it's just not the same. It's like people say like, it's... people say that tofu and meat are the same thing and shit. It's fucking bullshit. No. Tofu is gross. Tofu's disgusting. Hey, no, I'm no, Asian, no. I like tofu. Fuck, fuck you. It's like I'm listen. Asian, I have to like tofu. <laughs> we don't need tofu in Hispanic countries. That's an abomination. Oh shit. Oh wait, wait, wait. This is this is a debate that's going on in in, in my, my store right now. Oh, tell me. Okay, how do you cook your rice? How do I tell cook me. my rice in a rice cooker? I don't fucking know. Okay, do you add oil to that rice? Uh, a little bit. Fuck you. Why? Bradley, what do you do? <laughs> Bradley, I do the same thing. You add oil to it? Like a teaspoon or something. God, yeah, like a small bit. It must be like. A Hispanic slash Haitian thing. Caribbean. It's probably Caribbean yeah, it must be a thing. Caribbean thing because like Asian Asians don't do that. You don't add oil, like a little bit of like vegetable oil. No, we just. That's what my mom does. That's what that's what I do. Yeah, no, it's just you. We just yeah. put it in the rice cooker, water. That's it. Yeah, I, I've done that too, but like every once in a while, like I put like a little bit of oil in it. No, man, that's just sounds so gross to me. <laughs> it tastes fine to me. You don't even fucking taste it. It's like a tiny tablespoon thing. It's Teaspoon, Sounds you know? really gross. You know, in the comments, to the two people who listen to this, <laughs> do you add oil to your rice? Yeah. Tell us. Tell us. Please Tell us. Tell. Nah, man, that sounds really gross. Alright, what other things that you do that we don't do? It's part from eating tofu, which is fucking disgusting. <laughs> tofu doesn't taste like anything. Tofu tastes gross. But it's so squishy, it's just gross. Well, look, is it a tasting or a texture thing? Both. Both. Okay, because tofu typically, depending on how you cook it, like what do you cook it with, it takes on the properties of the sauce that you use. So if you just cook straight up tofu, of course it's going to be disgusting. It's like people who only eat like Vegemite by itself. And like yeah, Australians, it's like, literally will tell that. you, they'll be like, you're not supposed to eat Vegemite by itself. Mm -hmm. it's like, oh, know. what are you, crazy? <laughs> mm. And you're not supposed to like slather that thing. It's like a dip. Yeah. It's like a, yeah, it's but like, like a salsa that, dip, right? That's what, yeah, that, what it is. That's how to like that's just how tofu is. Like it just it's gelatinous, but like it takes all the properties of like like the taste properties, I guess, of whatever you cook it with. Nah, gross. So at least the tofu I've had is pretty good. Because the sauce that my mom uses is really good. Gross. Brandy, we're going to a Korean barbecue place. <laughs> I'm <sighs> Wait, actually I can do Korean barbecue. Cause that's all meat. All right. There's no carbs in meat. <laughs> but, that's literally why I can eat meat because there's right. no carbs well, in we're meat. Well, going, we're going. Let's see. We're gonna go to Korean barbecue. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go to Water Burger. We're gonna go to Peteri's. We're gonna go to Hop Daddy. We're gonna go yeah, to I'm the draft getting house. fat on this trip. Hell yeah, you are. We're going to the draft house. <laughs> You're getting alcoholic milkshakes. Hey, on the bright side, like if I were if I were to come right now, it it wouldn't be as enjoyable, because I wouldn't I I've started this diet before that. Or you can start the diet after. No. <laughs> yeah, you can do it way after. You're good. You don't need. Yeah, you don't you need do, to. You do the diet after. Right it's fine. So I'll be like, yeah, we can go to all those places, but I can't have the bread. He just it's just like it's not even like a burger. They just give me the patty. I'm like, thanks. Yeah. Let's go. We oh, can I'm go to, sadly we can go eating to Muya. it. Um, they actually have a Muya in like Miami, but it's like up north, kind of like in Fort Lauderdale. Okay, one of the reasons also why I miss it is because that bread and the rice shit—that is what really fills you up. Rice really fills you, you up. You feel yeah. you feel satisfied. Yeah. Like at least for me, like you know, yeah, I'm not getting you know as hungry as I used to, 
but still when I'm done eating, like I'm just like sitting there for like 15 minutes going, I don't feel satisfied. It's pretty crying inside. Crying inside. Oh, we're going to Voodoo. Very important. What the hell is that? Voodoo it's donuts? a donut place. Sounds like oh, that's right. Voodoo Donuts. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I remember. We're going to pass it like, by the convention. We're going to Guthrie's Fried Chicken, which is at the corner of the convention. Are you paying for all of this? Uh, this is right? Like, like, are you paying for all of this? This is not like, the same. Because yeah. Bradley just dropped $400 for her ass. It wasn't for me. I didn't fucking ask him to come. <laughs> yes, you did. You did, actually. <laughs> but you agreed. <laughs> <laughs> But it's fine. He only spent like ninety nine dollars on him. He spent four hundred on you. It's fine. Don't worry. Is it fine, Bradley? No. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you should at least go half and half on these meals. Nah, yeah, we'll see. I meant half and half between you and Mario, but uh, yeah. I we could do that. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Uh, what? What? He's else? the guest. Pay for him. What else can we go to? So uh, how about how, how about we just wait till we get there to figure out you know where else we can go? But I need to make you a realize list. you you listed like ten restaurants and he's only going to be there for three days. You think he's going to eat that many times? <laughs> but you will when you're in Austin. I guess, but you do know that he's going to be oh, there. Oh, we're going to Rudy's. We have a we guess you're going to Rudy's. Is all of that open like at nine p.m.? Yeah. Okay then, I stand corrected. Mm -hmm. Well. Because, like, that's how long you're going to be at the convention center. Obviously, we'll go to Torchies. Classic. As someone, okay, as someone who who doesn't, like, watch a lot of artsy stuff, Tonda Bradley, what panels are you actually, like, wanting to go to? They have panels? It's a convention center. Yes. Um, whatever, pa whatever panel Michael's at. Okay. So, Off Topic and Achievement Hunter and... Yeah. There's All a, that. The, Mike, the Michael and Greg Miller one. I want to see the... Wait, the, 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 will they have a panel for Ruby? Yes. There's also a panel Yeah, for you can Jenna. do that. Have him, have him go to the animation one, just yeah, for, like, research. Yeah, that's the one I want to go to. I wanted to go to the, to the CEO one with Chris, but Chris is not going, so... It's very sad. That one sounds boring, though. It's actually really fun. <laughs> how dare you make fun of my home like that <laughs> you're not invited next year you've been blacklisted and whatever <laughs> make fun of who the ceo of the company ah uh, that's right uh yeah i mean like bradley should go to animation that's fine anything anything with michael on it so like i guess you know off topic achievement hunter theater is there doing theater mode live uh, they're already sold out that's separate that's oh yeah that's separate okay never mind you can't do theater mode live yeah. Um, Let's see. I don't know. You, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to like handhold him. Yeah. Um, mm -mm, the Ruby panel is on the Friday the at, at 1 p.m. There's an Arizona it Circle at 1:30. Uh, the RT Rainbow panel is at 2:30, which I love going because they give you glow sticks. All right. Yeah. Do they also give you complimentary mushrooms? No. <laughs> No, we gotta bring those. Achieve, achieve but they Hunter. provide the glow sticks. Achievement Hunter's at 5 o'clock. Did, did we get the one with the badges and everything? What? I don't know. I don't know, because I'm looking at the RTX things, and I see, like, Friday Expo only, Saturday Expo only, and then I see weekend badge, Friday well, badge, Saturday the badge. One, the one that Maria has, the one that I gave her, we have weekend. is a weekend badge, yeah. We all have weekend badges. The ah, weekend badges are for all three days. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're okay. fine. You're fine, yeah. Yeah, you're fine. All right. And even if you can't get to go, I mean, apparently they're going to take you to... So you're fine. You're going to be doing lots of stuff. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're going to be eating a lot. Yeah, you'll love it. Going to die. <laughs> so, let's see. Oh my god, Pro ZD is going to have a panel? Whoa. That's cool. T Chris just shows up and be like, twin. That's actually... I'm actually Pro ZD. <laughs> we never knew. <laughs> he was hiding it from us this entire time. <laughs> oh my God. That dude has a different body shape than me and a different voice. Like, there's no way. You do not have that voice. If you had that voice, you would not be hanging out with us. Yeah. I don't know you if I can watch them do Let's Play, honestly. 
Uh, up to you, man. Oh, I don't have, care. They have voice acting in animation. Where? Uh, at on on Saturday, at one thirty. We're doing that. Okay. We're going there. We're going there. You, going you guys there. will plan it out. Plan, yeah. You'll um, plan it out. Is wait? Uh, is Maria Maria still? Uh, is Maria like driving? Yeah, Maria's gonna drive there? from Houston on. She, she's not gonna be there Friday morning. She's gonna be there Friday afternoon. Because she has to work Friday morning. Um, but she's, okay. she's going to be there by Friday afternoon. Is she there. off the weekend? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. she, she works like okay, a 9-5 cool. job. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Ew. Mm-hmm. What do you mean, ew? That's great. She gets the weekend off. Yeah, it's a fucking dream. All the time. No, I'm talking about the 9-5. to five. No, that's a normal person. But it's a job and something she likes, so... 9-5 to five doesn't bother you when it's something you like doing. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're going to be doing eventually. Ooh, Tis true. Writing, Tis true indeed. Ooh, Chris, writing and directing for RT Animation. Dream. Okay. <laughs> Going. That's for that's for you. To be fair though, I'll probably be doing. I'm I'm probably the eight guy. Because I don't want to wake up at nine, ever. You're gonna be an eight guy. No, like a twelve to eight guy. Oh. Twelve to eight. Probably. Because he doesn't wake up at nine. Yeah, I don't want to. Also, it's gonna be like our fucking covenant. I can. That's true. You can show up whenever the fuck you want. That's exactly. True. I still get paid. I'm the one who sets the pay. Like I'll still get paid. Yeah. Watch it be a pyramid. Watch I just set up a pyramid scheme or oh something. God. I'm I'm, I'm setting up my office like Aaron's. Yeah, go ahead. We'll work that out later when we when we grow enough. Yeah. Oh, there's a Genlock panel on Sunday, 10:30 in the morning. Still never seen Genlock. What the, the fuck, fuck is Gen what's wrong with you? I'm furious. My life was in shambles like seven months ago, okay? <laughs> yeah. I just started actually like watching like stuff again. Oh yeah, but you should watch it. It's actually really good. So like uh like as my first thing I like watched the first half of season three of Attack on Titan. Like I actually binged it all. Mm, yeah, you should watch it. So now I'm just Ooh, like, yeah, Bradley. I can watch things again. I know my schedule. Huh? Braddy, concept art for RT animation. Where? That's on Sunday one thirty. Just, just go to all the animation panels. Just, all, yes, let's do that. All the animation panels is just Bradley. We're just gonna set him off and he'll figure it out. Yeah, this is actually a four hundred dollar like TED talk for you. Yeah. Um, I'm going to the Funhouse panel. I don't know about you losers, but I don't watch Funhouse. I don't know. Oh, Powerhouse oh, Animation cool. is gonna be there, which I'm really excited about. For those of you who don't know, Powerhouse Animation made the Castlevania show on Netflix, which is amazingly animated. Like it's beautiful. Hey, it's a good show. It's a ridiculously good show. They're getting another season, so they're going to have a panel with a Q&A and everything because they're based out in Austin, so, like, it's gonna be re- I'm pretty excited. They're probably, nice. show, like, they're probably gonna show, like, a clip or, like, a trailer or something for the next season. Oh, I'm actually mm-hmm. interested in playing the new video game, too. Ooh, yeah. Vicious Circle? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm actually we'll, very we'll interested send, in playing that. We'll send that. you a video of us playing. But I can't... Yeah, but I can't play it because I'm not going to RTX. Yeah. But we'll send you a video. when it comes out... When it comes out, mm-hmm. I think I'll, I'll probably pick it up. Yeah. I like I like the, I like the that Michael and Lindsay are one character. <laughs> that yeah. Was so cute. Hmm. I was like. That's... They have a. Anyway. From what I've seen. Mm. Freddy stuff. Oh, that's camp camp panel panel. Yeah. The camp camp panel. I don't care. I mean, Michael's gonna be there, but I don't care. He's just looking at Michael's schedule. <laughs> He's just looking at Michael's schedule. How funny. <laughs> he loves Michael. Yeah. He just follows Michael around. Mm. I read it to Michael like last year, but he was like sprinting down the hallway because I get to get somewhere. Mm-hmm. So like him and like the the guardian, they were like sprinting down the hallway, and people were like, "Oh, hey, Michael!" And Michael was like, just "I gotta shoulder go." Shoulder checking I gotta everyone. Leave. <laughs> Michael was like, "Hey guys, sorry, mm. bye. I gotta go. I gotta leave." And like he just like ran, and we're like, "Oh, well, okay, cool." Yeah, that's just their Ooh. lives during that during the convention. Yeah, during that Level up, weekend. finding your way in the video game industry. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Bradley's gonna be there. Mm. Yeah, so Bradley there. It's at twelve thirty. Hmm. On Friday. Hmm. Okay. You'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah. Wait, that depends on what else is going on at the same time. I don't know. I think that's more important, but yeah. For you. Yeah. That's like, true. This is a good opportunity for a lot of stuff for yeah. you, Bradley. This is exactly where I wanted to go. Nice. What is it? Friday at what? Wow, fuck, Mar- oh, <laughs> fuck, dude, fuck, friendship. I just wanted to go for the for for the convention. For the convention, just to it's learn like, shit. Fuck, I didn't want to go see you guys. I just wanted to like learn. 
Yeah. I want to learn. <laughs> they have action animation and mocap. What? Yeah. Oh shit, Bradley's gonna be there. Bradley, I think Bradley, Bradley just, just came. Bradley just like front row and like, woo, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a funny ass picture. Where some dude, um, some dude's friend was trying to like um, put an inspirational thing as his background for the de- for his desktop, but he cropped it in a way where it's just fucking funny. And so, I think the quote was like, "Don't uh, like, uh, don't forget where you came from," but he cut it off where it just said, uh, don't, "Don't forget, forget where you came." <laughs> oh wow! I was gonna be like, don't that's forget. It. Just don't forget where you came. <laughs> Man, this is just turned into like our RTX like prepping uh, a podcast. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so if you guys are going to RTX, which I highly doubt any of you are, this is what we're doing. Yeah, if you guys, yeah, I doubt any of you are gonna be at RTX, but if you're at RTX, we're gonna be there. Yeah, we're gonna be there. I'm gonna be Snapchatting the whole thing. He probably will. Document still a it. thing. <laughs> Snapchat. I don't know not. if it's still a thing. Snapchat's not a thing. I don't know. I don't do I don't do the social media, so I don't really know. Instagram is where it's at. I I do social media in like a year from now. Guy press. I mean, I have no reason to. I don't give a fuck. That's true. He doesn't. All right. Well, we have fifteen more minutes left. Uh, let's talk about uh video games that we should play and record. Okay. Sure. Um... Or what games are you guys playing right now? Destiny Two. Okay. What did, what, did, what did you say, Lady? Sims 4. All right, we're skipping, Lady. Um, So, um, Bradley. <laughs> so, you playing Destiny? Yep, Destiny 2 at the moment. Damn, you guys are basic bitches. I'm actually thinking what? about uh, low-key getting uh, Mario Maker 2 that just dropped yesterday. Yeah, do it. Why not? Cause you know those game those levels I, I, I wanna I wanna go through the anguish and agony that all the players go through when trying to figure out how to defeat these stages. Oh, did you say that Ross? Oh, that, we're getting into game grubs now. But did you say that Ross was uh, doing a live stream like yesterday? He was creating like all the levels for like Aaron and. and, mm-hmm. and oh, like, that's gonna be great. Yeah, they're like they're like it was like they posted on Twitter. They're like, come see Ross create all the levels that he's gonna torture with to Aaron and Dan. Damn, I didn't. I didn't see their live stream. I actually saw Dashi's live stream, hmm. who's just a loud, <laughs> very loud, noxious, hilarious person. Yeah, I just thought it was really funny that Ross is making all of them. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Because seeing um, Aaron and Dan wanting to kill themselves, playing these levels made made by Ross is the funniest thing. Yeah, yeah it's really funny. Now, now Ross version two is coming out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Game Grumps are good. I like Game Grumps. We always talk yeah, about Rooster Teeth, but Game Grumps is Game Grumps. Are good. I haven't Not watched you. Game Grumps in 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 quite a while, actually. I love. I need Grumps. to catch back they're, up. They're awesome. They upload every damn day. They do. It's really hard to keep up with them because if really they upload is. a video every single day, like you'll miss like three days, and you're already behind like so much. Because the thing is, they upload multiple it's... videos in one day. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, it, it's the multiple videos a day part that's hard. Yeah. Because they play like, multiple games in one day and upload each one. Yeah. Like, they went like, you no, know, Sonic 06 Part 2, but then they upload, like, Rayman Part 17 or some shit like that. Yeah. Like, I'll, like, um, I'll finish, like, when they finish, like, a series of games, then I'll go watch it. Like, the, the house party one, like, I didn't watch it until they finished, like, filming all of them. But I was like, okay, I'll, I'll watch these. Yo, that the house party one is hilarious. It's so fucking funny. Did you see the animated As for it? Gone, dude. No, I didn't see the animated one for the it. The animated's so funny. So there's this part where um, uh, Aaron's getting a blowjob. So but they <laughs> animated, but they animated the girl blowing bubbles at where Aaron's dick is. <laughs> She's just blowing bubbles. <laughs> it's really funny. Hold on, I think I actually might have seen that one. It's really funny. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, well, that's the tasteful way to do it, I guess. And then he walks, and then well, Frank walks in. Holy animated. shit! <laughs> God. What about you, Chris? Tell me about Phoenix Wright because I don't know. You're playing oh, Phoenix Wright. I haven't been playing. Like I already finished the first game, but like, I haven't picked up. This- I haven't touched the second game yet. Okay. I've been playing through my little backlog. Um, since again, like I'm a PC gamer, like I play a lot of PC stuff. 
Um, on my actual Switch, I'm actually playing Undertale. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about getting that too. It's pretty fun. I'm only like maybe an hour and a half in. It's a lot more fun to discover how to not kill the monster than to just straight up just kill them. Yeah, so you're taking the pacifist route. Yeah, just because it's more fun. Um, yeah, that's true. On uh, on the PC, I'm playing Darkest Dungeon, uh, which is um, it's more it's like a it's a obviously it's a dungeon crawling game because it's in the fucking name, but um, pretty much it's a game where you have to manage the stress levels of your, the adventures that you're sending into the dungeons as well as trying to complete the dungeon. Um, because it's filled with like Lovecrafty and style horrors inside, and that's been pretty fun. It's really unforgiving. If you um, the game auto saves every time you do something, so if you fuck up, you fucked up. Damn. You cannot override it. And there are times where like I made a single mistake and wiped the whole party, and they were gone forever. Nice. And uh, the objective of the game pretty much is. Um, to build up a strong enough party to take on the darkest dungeon and complete the darkest dungeon. And like I said, it's to get to that point is pretty difficult. And then to actually attempt the darkest dungeon, I haven't done it yet. Um, but like I said, it's it gets very very difficult. And then the other game I'm playing is uh, another an RTS game called They Are Billions, which is pretty much a it's a, it's a RTS game slash tower defense game where um, you're trying to last as long as you can against a, um, an ever-increasing zombie horde. So, uh, for example, like, if I set the difficulty to, like, normal, I just survive 120 days against a horde of zombies that just keeps coming and coming and coming at set intervals. And um, the last 10 days, they just... Don't stop. I would have to show you pictures of it. Um, but I've been having fun with that. Yeah. So I, I have to show you pictures of how many zombies are on screen. Wow. Just just to get it. Uh, when they say billions, man, it feels like billions. I've been playing... That's what I've been playing on uh, on PC. And then on my Switch, I've been playing Undertale. And Smash, because I play Smash like every day. So, of course. Lord, I, haven't, I actually haven't touched Smash in quite a while. I play Smash maybe like an hour a day, like every day, just to keep up my skill. Every single day. Every, every single day. They are billion screenshots. Just so you can see. Uh, yeah, that's a good. That's a good one. Show uh, us. This will. Yeah, I'm showing you right now. He's gonna post. I'm gonna post this up on the video too. I think. I don't know. Oop. Oh, that's a link. That's Oops. a link. My bad, my bad. Chris, that's not a picture. A link. That's that's a Zelda, man. One sec. God, Chris. Chris is, Shut Chris the is fuck a, up. Chris is not a computer. He's an old man. There you go. Holy shit. What Everything outside fuck? of those walls is a zombie. What the fuck? Holy shit. Yeah, nope. and that is what the last 10 days look like. <laughs> So you have to survive a constant horde like that for ten days. And then what happens if you survive the ten days? Or like the, the then you win. Apocalypse just like ends. Then you win. <laughs> Congratulations, you survived. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a fun game. But um, this kind of like what you're seeing right here on screen that uh that defense is going to drop in like two seconds. Because that is crazy. the defenses that I do. It's like fucking three layers of walls with soldiers in between each walls fighting them back and that doesn't even hold them back God. i've actually not won a game yet that's how hard this game is wow mm, yeah once good. it reaches that billions point like it's it's hard as fuck um but it, like what i really like about the game is it really showcases how fast a zombie infestation could spread because um before like, the hordes attack you like that, but there's also zombies on the map. Um, and you have to clear out areas of the zombies to expand your colony. Mm -hmm. And um, if you let one in, like, one gets past your defenses and attacks a building, it, spread, it, it infects everyone inside that building and spawns more zombies. 
And usually in our games like this, you build your buildings very close to each other. Mm -hmm. So those things I just spawn hit two more buildings. Now those two buildings just spawn more. Oh, no. They hit four buildings and it, your, your colony is just gone. There, there are games, yeah. There, there are times where I'm like ten days into it, which is not long at all, and one got through my defenses, and it was over. I had to restart. It's like it's the end. We're done. We're done. Yeah, I've tried to contain it before. It, it didn't work out. It didn't. Mm, no. But like, it, I, I like that aspect. Like, they really show you how how fucked your world will get if a zombie gets through. Mm -hmm. Um, but there, uh, those zombies on screen also um follow zombie logic i guess or zombie lore mm -hmm. uh in quotation marks where like if you make a noise it attracts more and more oh yeah oh wow so, yeah so for example uh, in the beginning of the game you usually have um units that have bows and arrows and those don't make a lot of noise so when they kill zombies they don't attract others mm -hmm. but obviously as you start to you know you can't defend your colony with bows and arrows forever yeah so you're gonna upgrade to guns they fire a gun now everything in that in a certain radius heard that gunshot they starts coming towards your base Ugh, sounds terrible yeah but i i like challenging games like that so it's really fun cuz darkest dungeon is fucking hard as hell and, darkest but i enjoy the i enjoy the 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 challenge yeah. just to, just for just so you guys know what darkest dungeon looks like i'll i'll get a picture too i know how darkest dungeon looks but yeah just for Brad. show, show, show no Brad. Like. yeah I like the aesthetic. Um, yeah, let me see but it's, here. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of thinking. Dungeon. Closest dungeon game I ever played was Baldur's Gate 2, Dark Alliance. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, the, that's the aesthetic of the game. Yeah, that's dark. That's what the game looks like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your party's on the left, the enemies are on the right, and then you do your thing. Mm -hmm. It's a hard ass game, game, man. It's a hard ass game. It's terrible. No, it's not terrible. It's a, it's a terrible game in the fact that it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Not, it's um, not a terrible game. Like I said, you're trying to manage their stress. So as they get hit, as you go deeper into the dungeon. Yeah, you got to send people to like the hospitals and shit because they'll be fucked up. And... What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, I'm just going to pause this dungeon raid to send you to the no, hospital. No, no, no. Yeah. You have to. No, you can't do that. You, 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 send, them, you send them to that after the, the raid is over. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can't, you can't stop mid-raid. Well, you if you, you do away. stop mid raid, if you stop mid raid, it you abandon the entire quest, and that also stresses them out. Yeah. Because they Ouch. feel like failures, you know. Yeah. If they if they get above, so their stress meter is up to two hundred. If they reach a hundred, they get an affliction, which is like a mental disorder. Um, so they could feel hopeless. They could like get, get schizophrenia, stuff like that, you know. Um. And that will affect everything else because, like, now they're uh, now sometimes you can't control them. They'll do whatever the hell they want based on like what affliction they have. Uh, for example, if one of them like has like extreme depression, they might not want to attack that turn. They might instead like you know go behind someone else, and that will forfeit their turn. Um, if they're feeling egotistical, like that's their affliction. Um, they might like um like after everyone else does their move they might like uh, insult the like the other people and that raises their stress because this dude's being an asshole stuff like that and then at the end of the raid if they're not dead then you can send them to a hospital to get them to calm down pretty much mm -hmm. and get them back on the right track if they, for whatever region, reach 200 uh, stress in a um, in the dungeon, they get a heart attack and die. So it's just instant wow. death. Stress. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you can see from the screen that the creatures are pretty cool looking. But obviously, if you were an adventurer fighting against that and you see that all the time, you're going to deep, dark dungeons and blah, blah, blah. It's scary. You know, it would stress you out. Yeah. You have to control the light level as well. Like the physical like uh, light. Oh yeah, you always gotta have like lights on and shit like that, because otherwise you can't exactly. see. Exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember. If it's yeah, and if um as the light goes down, the bo the monsters get buffs, and but the rewards get better. So it's up to you to try if you want to be a little risky and fight in pitch darkness, yeah. or if you want to play it safe and just fight in, you know, good lighting and 
just take out the monsters as easily as you can. Even even at that point, like the monsters are still pretty hard. Well, but, yeah, but I'm enjoying the game. I'm almost done with it. Uh, um, in terms of almost ready to take on the first expedition into the darkest dungeon. Yeah, I like wow. the story though too. Crazy. Yeah, I like the story. The story is pretty much you're you are inheriting inherit inherit inheriting what you're I can't say that word inheriting yeah that word um an estate from your ancestor who was an asshole mm -hmm. and your ancestor pretty much is the reason why everything is fucked up he was a super rich dude who like just didn't give a fuck about anyone was obscenely rich so he did whatever the hell he wanted to do and discovers this dungeon under his estate opens it and that's it <laughs> and then pretty much the story is like as you go through you start to discover like the depths of his madness and of his like ostentatious attitude interesting it's pretty, yeah it's pretty interesting but how much of this how much of a dick this dude is and how much you have to fix yeah fix a lot <laughs> much, much yeah. less mm-hmm well, yeah, uh, those are the two games I'm playing. It's really fun. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just playing Sims 4. Yeah. Better than the fucking Sims. Fuck you, alright. I'm playing <laughs> the Sims 4 and I'm taking an expansion pack right now and I'm having fun. Wait, don't be an asshole. <laughs> I'm trying to become no, famous. It's just, the, yeah, the Sims aren't just my thing. That's it. I, I don't like god games like that. I love, I love it. So much fun. I make babies whenever I want. <laughs> chop them in the, chop them in the basement. <laughs> Damn, Bradley, you playing Destiny 2? Yep. Is, is that game good yet? Uh, That's not yet. <laughs> so, so why are you playing it? Um, I don't know. There's just some things in the in the game that I need yeah. to finish. Just to are, are you stubborn like me finish. in Fallout 76? Yep. <laughs> Will you re recognize it's not an amazing game, but it's still fucking fun? Yep. Yeah. But the latest, the latest uh, installment that seems to be coming out, it looks like it's gonna fix it. I mean, since they're not with Activision anymore. Yeah, All they right. were these the during E3 they talked uh, about a lot of things, and they they even like they kind of like threw Activision to the bus. They're like, yeah, we couldn't do these things because of certain reasons until now, and it's mm -hmm. like, okay, but it's like, but we on they can't obviously say it because obviously that's bad, but like. But everybody they posted knows a hint. Fucking... I don't know. I don't. I don't know what word they use. I don't think they. I don't know if they used vision or active, but they used one of those two words. But they were pretty <laughs> much like throwing Activision on the bus. Like the only reason yeah. we haven't been doing any of this because Activision is like money hungry and we don't. There's not. Yeah, what we want that's to the do. problem. That's the problem sometimes with publishers. Yeah. Which is why I don't like want Activision to. Activision like... and EA. Yeah, that's why I don't want to go through a publisher. Nobody likes EA. Who likes EA? EA yeah. sucks. I mean, look, look. The two games that I'm playing are good examples of games that like, I like these are I'm good games. Yeah. <laughs> Talking trash yeah. about EA. <laughs> I know. We we uh, look. We all play EA games, okay? We can't we can't deny that. That's, yeah, let's be honest. Yeah. I, I don't play EA. Oh wait, no. Yeah, you do. Shut the fuck up. There has to be yeah. at least one that you've played. There is at least one you've played. Uh, name some, and I and I'll say yes or no. All right, hold on. Let me. Open. I don't know what games you play, dude. I I play a lot. Any Need yeah, for Speed games? Any FIFA games? Ah shit! No, is it the, FIFA, the FIFA games? Speed. Yeah, the FIFA games are. Yeah, is right. Who the fuck? I don't I don't play sports games. Sports games are stupid. Sports games are <laughs> fucking dumb. I will I will agree with you. FIFA I agree games with that too. Dumb. Sports games are dumb. If you want to play the if you wanna, yeah, if you want to play the fucking play soccer, sport. go outside. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, like I was saying, like. Uh, Star Wars it, Battlefront Two. Sorry, sorry. Uh, wait, which one? The old one or the new one? The, I, all of them. They're technically theirs, I think. Um, I don't know, actually. Um, Apex no, 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 no. The old ones weren't. The old ones weren't. They weren't theirs? Mm. No, the publisher was um was LucasArts. LucasArts. Oh, yeah. I played the old Battlefront 2. I haven't, I haven't played the new Battlefront 2, but that's because I don't want to. Uh, Anthem. Nope. Mm. Any Bioware game? Yeah. Nope. Definitely have not played Bioware. Wait, Bioware? I'm, no, you, you played Baldur's Gate. That's a Bioware game. Battlefield. Baldur's Gate was EA? It was a Bioware game. No. Uh, 
Need for Speed games, yeah. Mm, Titanfall. Remember that like Bioware was the no, developer, wait. but the publisher that gave him the money was EA. EA, EA has a lot of... Co There's a reason why EA is the biggest publisher yeah, in, the, in the video game ginormous. industry. It's because mm. Actually, even though you think they have no control over it, they, they put some money into this and they have control over this. Actually, the Baldur's Gate was made by Black Isle Studios. Yeah, but who gave them funding and who published their shit? That's the, the question. The game was published by Interplay Entertainment and distributed by Ven... Oh. Vivendi Universal Games. Uh, Interplay is, is Bethesda now, essentially. Mm, but what did it used to be EA's? No, that's Zenimax. That's different. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, the two games that I'm playing are perfect examples of like what you could achieve without a without a publisher interfering with your vision. Like, there is no way EA would give, like, for example, for They Are Billions, there is no way EA would give them the time to work oh, out the engine that... to have that many units on screen. <laughs> that... Wow, that you call okay? was harsh. Mm. Uh, Rock Band apparently um, is theirs even under publishing and distribution. Yeah, I didn't play Rock Band either. Really? Yeah, really. I've never played no, I was a Guitar band. Hero kid. I, I played one or two Rock Band games. I've never played any Rock Bands. Hmm. They had some 007 games. No. Nope. Uh, there's a American Idol game that was theirs. I guess the only one that I ever played was Need for Speed. And, uh, you know what? Okay, Bradley, name some games that you really like to play. Uh, from your childhood up to now, I guess. Yeah, That's we're, not we're, Sonic. We're going to Google. That's, yeah, That's not Sonic. Sonic. That's hard. <laughs> okay, Just Sonic. Mario? A lot of the Mario games. Okay, that's, not, okay, that's not Nintendo. You know what a you know what a Nintendo game is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no Pokemon either. Right. Uh, what games did I play? Gosh. As a kid. Freddy's... Mega Man. Nah, it's all Nintendo shit. Yeah. That's Capcom. Yeah. Hmm. Have you played Apex? No. What? Well, yes, Apex. All so right. that's an EA game. Yeah, there you go. We got him. Is we got Apex, him. Is is Apex an EA game? It, was it is. Yeah, okay. Or is Titanfall an EA game? Titanfall is also an EA game. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But because the the developer is Respawn and and the publisher is EA. Mm -hmm. Damn it! Damn it! All damn the Battlefield it. games. Oh, that's right. I do play Battlefield. There you go. Yep. But so I just they... I just recently started playing it. Mm-hmm. Either way, at some point you've played a game published by EA. Yeah. Yeah. No matter how we're all sluts for EA, okay? Oh well, when EA used to be good. Yeah. <coughs> Need for Speed. EA, EA has practically been a fucking monopoly in the video game industry. E no matter how EA much you don't got think. look. I think the the problem here is that EA just got too big. Yeah, they got too money hungry. I think yeah, they got too big. Saying, someone was saying that they had gone. That they were, I think they were a developer or something in one of the one of the, like major EA games. I think it was one of the Battlefront games, where mm -hmm. um they came in and they said they they were like giving ideas and everything. But I think it was like an ex some executive or something at EA was like, yes, but how can we make money off of this? <laughs> and like he completely canceled the prank because the guy was like, the guy was like, well, it's not supposed to be made money. It's just for like for the fun of the game. And the guy was like, no, we don't want it. And he canceled it. And we're like, I would never forgive EA for for dismantling visceral games. They just fucking. I'm never gonna get Dead Space, like another Dead Space. Yeah. Yeah, they also like completely like destroy like studios if they don't do like one good game. Yeah, pretty much. It'd be like you didn't you didn't make the money that we that you're supposed to make. You're done. Can't. Yeah, it. we own you, so we're just gonna dismantle you now. Yeah, they're like, have they're, you, like you could have at you least like you could at least like sell them to someone else. They're like, no, 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 dismantle. We're done. <laughs> have you guys seen the meme? I'll never forgive the Japanese. <laughs> no. What is no. that? My mine is is just I'll never forgive EA. <laughs> but what's the Japanese? I fucking name? I fucking love I'll never forgive the Japanese. <laughs> it's such a good meme. Is, is this about World War Two? No, 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 no. It's it's a clip from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, <laughs> I thought this was like a meme about World War Two or something. I was like, okay. No, no, it, it's a funny clip from like a funny line from JoJo where it's like near the end of the second series. Uh, where like that it, that um, 
that oh season's God. yeah that yeah it's actually that old dude yeah him yeah. the guy who says oh, a wow. one yeah he's in the very last uh, episode of his arc you know before he was old like that um he is going to go visit his daughter in japan because his daughter married a japanese guy and that's why he said that line because they took his daughter <laughs> yeah because he has to fly to japan to go see his new grandson oh my god so he just goes i'll never forgive the japanese <laughs> <laughs> but people obviously have it just used, like they've taken that like screenshot and been just applying it to everything. It's amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, we're like, done. like my favorite uses so far was like when Ray was playing through Castlevania and he just kept dying over and over. He just goes, "I'll never forgive the Japanese." <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, we're done. All we're right. Done. Thanks. All right. Thanks for watching, All right. everybody. Thanks for Thank listening, guys. Yeah, thanks for listening to us ramble on about bullshit. I'll never forgive the Japanese. Chris will never forgive the Japanese. Because he's Vietnamese. He learned about you know, health today. Asian, <laughs> Asian rivalry and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bye. Later. Yeah.